is up youtube it's your girl royalty if you're new here i'm gonna need you to hit that subscribe button and if you're returning welcome back so today's video i'm gonna show you how i achieved this look but most importantly i'm going to put you onto my new holy grail product this is the air c eh3 electric nail drill they were kind enough to send me this product in for review and let me just tell you it did not disappoint Upon opening this nail drill, I noticed how super lightweight it felt. It has a digital screen and it has these easy buttons to kind of navigate through the different speeds that it has. This drill has a highest RPM of 35, which is super, super fast. If you know, you know. And not only that, it does go in both directions, meaning it does go forward and it does reverse as well. This was a genuine unboxing. So here I'm just trying to figure out the buttons, the speeds, how to navigate through it and all of that good stuff. But as you can see, I figured it out pretty quickly. Um, inside of the box, they do include 50 sanding bands, which I, you know, as a nail tech, we can always use these sanding bands. They included these diamond drill bits, which actually surprised me with how good the quality was. And they include this cord. Um, it is a C adapter, I believe. And you charge it right on top here. Super easy, super convenient. And then inside they give you this little pamphlet and it kind of just goes through what all of the nail drill bits would be used for. But yeah, jumping straight into the video. I decided to put my drill in reverse and I put it on the highest speed or no, I put it on a low speed of three and I was genuinely shocked at how good this bit was lifting up that dead cuticle. I wanted to make sure that I zoomed in so that you guys can like really get a feel of what I'm talking about. When I tell you that this diamond bit got all of that dead cuticle off of that nail in one swipe, it was so satisfying to watch. I wanted to be sure to include this drill working in slow-mo because like I said, it was super satisfying and this is the first step. Like you want to make sure you get all of that dead cuticle off. Um, her nails looked already worn down just a little because I did a soak off and I left it looking ashy because we were going to go over it with the sanding band anyway. But yeah, we're going to dust off all of that dust and this was satisfying as well because the drill did what it was supposed to do. Me cutting the cuticles was so much easier. And the thing is, if you know, you know, um, my little sister, it was her birthday. So I had just did her nails for a photo shoot and then she decided to take those off literally a week later because her birthday, her actual birthday was here and she decided to go short. So. On a fresh set, I already cut her cuticles, but this drill made it visible that she had much more cuticle that I didn't even see the first time. So that was definitely a plus and it definitely gets a five star rating for that. When you're cutting the cuticles, you want to move very slowly. I do not rush this process. I do not like to make anybody bleed. I haven't made anybody bleed and I take pride in that because it's a scary thing, especially as a beginner, if you are just starting. I used to shy away and I still kind of do shy away from cutting cuticles only because I believe that it is grown there for a reason. So I don't believe in fully removing all of it, but I remove a good chunk sum of what's gonna get in the way of your nails lasting. So that's just a quick side note for you. And as a nail tech, you can decide whatever it is you wanna do. Some people don't even touch the cuticle, but again, it is all up for debate and it is up to you. Here is the thumb and again, so satisfying. I use cuticle scissors because I find it's better than just the nippers. I feel like the nippers, I always used to nick myself. I feel like with the scissors, because it's curves, it's kind of easier to guide along the cuticle itself.
Okay, and now you can see I am adjusting the direction that the drill was going in before I had it in reverse. So now I am putting it in the forward direction. Not only that, I am going to up the speed. Or no, I lied. I left it at three because like I said, I had just did a soak off. So I am just lightly getting off any oils that might have gotten onto it while I actually wiped the nails prior so yeah that's what i'm doing now i'm not really removing the shine i don't want to make any damage to her nails we don't want super thin nails to where they hurt if you take off the acrylic so i just lightly go over and any shiny parts i remove you guys let me just let you know really quickly i just looked on amazon to see how much this nail drill was and it is $32.99. That is literally a steal. And because I have Prime, I see they give a 10% off. So I would definitely jump on that train. This is a great beginner friendly drill. When I tell you it was easy to navigate, it's super lightweight. It is easily manageable so that it's not going control and you know that little round the nail thing that drills tend to do. I have not had that issue yet. So definitely if you're a beginner and you're trying to decide which drill you want and you don't want to spend, let's say, as much for a Kiara Sky drill, I would say that this is a great alternative. Moving on, I wanted to show you guys how I adjusted the duckbill shape with the nail drill i didn't use a hand file right away i just went straight in with my drill to where i'm blending the tip to her natural nail and then i i hold it horizontally and then kind of go on the sides to make them as straight as possible um these nails did have a little curve that i'm going to later get rid of but just before prep i like to see what i'm working with before i actually go ahead and um apply the acrylic i feel like i love making these nail videos because it is so satisfying to watch like to me it's like we are really artists like this is really a masterpiece and the ones that get it just get it like this is not for the weak and if you can do what i can do you a baddie <laughs> Here I'm using their nail drills that they sent me. And again, I am super, super, super satisfied with this drill. It's like literally incredible to me how this drill is super affordable, but still really good quality. But yeah, moving on, I did not show you the actual application of the acrylic for this set because I feel like it is redundant and I've been showing you nonstop. Of course, I will put it in future videos, but I did go in with the Air C drill again. I believe I put the speed up to 9 RPMs. And I lightly just went around the cuticle with my 5-in-1 nail drill bit that I also got from Panna. And it did the job. It did really, really well. Like I said, this is a super beginner friendly nail drill bit. And to me, I loved how lightweight it was. And I loved the way that it was able to get in the nooks and crannies. The speeds was perfect. So yeah, I definitely would continue to use this. And I'm so happy that I did add it to my collection. Um, in the midst of me using it though, it did end up dying only because I did a soak off and if you know, you know, you have to keep your drill on high speeds when you're removing the bulk of the acrylic and then I used it for prep and partially some of this set. So I did have to put it to charge for a little bit. So I went to my old drill just to get this part done. And as you can see, we're still achieving the same look, which goes to show you how good the air c drill is because it literally is neck and neck with my my favorite drill of all times which is the melody Susie drill but you know something i'm very shocked because when i first started they did not have drills like the air c drill for me i remember getting mine and it literally was so like not even hard but confusing to use because 
It had like a spin wheel to adjust the speeds. It had a cord. It had a big bulky box that used to sit on the floor. Um, some of the ones that I saw had like a little pedal to, to control the speeds. That's like the old school ones. And now you get a drill like Air C that's completely cordless. Like, please. It's like a steal at this point. But yeah, I'm gonna let you guys continue to watch. Um, right now, I literally just blended the cuticle and I went around to see if there was any bumps. I lightly go over the free edge and that's pretty much it. I do end up hand filing just to perfect the shape, but I did not catch that on camera as well. After this part, we are going to jump straight into the nail art part of this video, which you guys know is very self-explanatory. It is a winter wonderland French and with blinged out rhinestones for two of the French nails. So I'm going to let you guys enjoy that footage. I am going to come back at the end though, because I do end up going back to the air seed drill and I'm going to show you how I do my finishing touches to make it super sharp. So this is after I've already done my nail art. I do go back in with the air seed drill. So stay tuned, enjoy the footage, and I'll come back to you guys when I get to that part.
All right, you guys, just as I said before, I would come back and show you guys how I do my last finishing steps to perfect the shape. I put the speed to the highest speed on my air seat drill. I have it going in a forward direction, and I literally, especially with duck nails, prefer to give it more of a C-curve shape because it just makes it look so much sharper and less rounded. So I do thin out the free edge just a little bit. As you can see, I hold it under the nail and go around, literally just create that C-shape. And this is a step that you need to include in all of your sets. I promise you, if you wanna take your set to the next level, then definitely try this trick. Let me know how it works for you because at first it didn't work too well for me only because I had to get a feel for it. But definitely practice, definitely try and let me know what you think. If you made it to the end of this video, I thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the continued support. I do have new big news. If you follow me on Instagram, then you'll already know. But in the next video, I'll go into more details. I'll see you next time. Bye.